Hi friends, in today's video we will see the problems related to clocks and solve the previous year questions related to it. Before seeing the problems, we should know some basic concepts related to clocks. We all know a clock has three hands. Hour hand, minute hand and the second hand. First, we will see the speed of the hour hand. This one is the hour hand. See, it is here. It is here now. It will come again here after 12 hours. Right? See, consider this is 5 a.m. It will move like this. And come again to 5 after 12 hours. So in the 5 pm it will come again here. So in 12 hours it will do a 360 degree rotation. So in one hour in one hour it will move 30 degree so in one minute so in one minute our hand will move zero point five degree per minute or one by two degree per minute, right? So this you have to remember. You have to remember this. Next, next we will see speed of the minute hand. So this one is the minute hand. Minute hand will cover 360 degree. In one hour. So in one hour, minute hand will cover 360 degree. So we can tell speed of the minute hand is equal to 6 degree per minute speed of the minute hand is equal to 6 degree per minute similarly we will see the speed of the seconds hand so this is the second hand In one minute, seconds hand will cover 360 degree. So for one second, it will cover 6 degree. Speed of the 
seconds hand is equal to 6 degree per second. So speed of the seconds hand is equal to 6 degree per second. So what is reflex angle? Now the time is showing 5 o'clock. So between the minute hand and the hour hand there will be some angle. Right? So let us take this angle as x. And this will be another angle. This is called reflex angle. So reflex angle is equal to 360 degree minus x. Right? So if you subtract x from 360 degree, you will get the reflex angle. So what is initial angle? Between 12 and 1, the angle will be 30 degree. Similarly, between 1 and 2, the angle will be 30 degree. So likewise, here also, the angle will be 30, 30, 30, 30. Right. So between two eleven and twelve, there will be there will be angle of thirty degree. So the angle between twelve and two will be sixty degree. Am I right? So this is initial angle. You have to remember this. In some problems, we will use we will directly use initial angle. Like between. Twelve to three, the angle will be ninety degree. Am I right? Thirty, thirty, thirty. So the angle will be ninety degree. So this is a simple concept. Relative speed. We have seen relative speed in our speed, time, and distance lesson, right? So the same concept is here. When two objects are moving in the same direction, what you will do in the, in the speed of x kilometer per hour and y kilometer per hour. To find the relative, relative speed, you will just subtract x minus y. Similarly, if object 1 and object 2 moving in the opposite direction relative speed formula will be x plus y in clock we know all the hands move in the same direction right so we will use this formula relative speed is equal to x minus y so, if you are finding the sp speed of the minute hand with respect to our hand, so we will use relative speed formula, right? So, both minute hand and our hand will move in the same direction, right? So, we will use this formula. So, what is the speed of the minute hand? We know it is 6 degree per minute. Right. So similarly, speed of the upper hand is equal to 1 by 2 degree per minute. 6 minus 1 by 2, which is equal to 6 to 12. 12 minus 1 divided by 2. So 11 degree, sorry, 11 by 2 degree per minute. Right. So you have to remember this formula also. Speed of the 
minute hand with respect to our hand is equal to 11 by 2 degree per minute right so you have to remember this formula also now let us see some examples so example 1 find the angle between two hands that is minute hand and hour hand when the time is 7.30 am draw a clock So the time is 7.30 right so you have to find the angle between these two hands minute hand and the hour hand to find the angle between minute hand and hour hand the formula is angle between minute hand and our hand is equal to 60 into hours minus 11 into minutes divided by 2 so this is the formula So substitute the values 60 into 7 minus 11 into 30 divided by 2 is equal to 6 7 of 42 420 minus 11 3 7, 33 330 divided by 2 is equal to 90. So the answer will be 90. 90 by 2 which is equal to 45 degrees. So the answer will be option A 45 degrees. Yes, option A 45 degree. 45 degrees is the right answer. Right. So this is how you have to find angle between minute hand and the hour hand. So they will give a specific time, and you have to find the angle between minute hand and the hour hand using this formula. Right. Example 2 find the angle between two hands minute hand and hour hand when the time is 5 10 p.m. So similar to the previous example So the time is 5, 10. So the time is 5, 10 and you have to find the angle between two hands minute hand and the hour hand so what is the formula angle between minute hand and hour hand is equal to 60 into hours minus 11 into minutes 
divided by 2. So substitute the value 60 into our that is 5 minus 11 into 10 will divide by 2 which is equal to 6 face of 30 that is so 300 minus 110 divided by 2 which is equal to so 300 minus 110 is equal to 190 am i right so 190 divided by 2 1 9 to are 18 5 so 95 degree option b 95 degrees is the right answer yes option b 95 degrees is the right answer got it so this is how you have to find the angle between two hands that is minute hand and the hour hand now let us see example 3 find the angular distance covered by minute hand from 2:10 pm to 4:25 pm so in this example you have to find the angular distance covered by the minute hand from 2:10 pm to 4:25 pm so from 2:20 sorry from 2:10 pm to 4:25 pm the minute hand would have covered certain distance right so you have to find the angle between 210 to 425 okay so 210 to 425 which is equal to 2 hours and 15 minutes right so convert hours to minutes 16 to 2 which is equal to 120 minutes plus 15 minutes One thirty five minutes. So in one thirty five minutes, minute hand would have covered certain distance. You need to find the angle. So we have already seen the angle covered by minute hand in one minute is equal to six degree. So you just need to multiply one thirty five into six. which is equal to 810 degree so in 2 hours 15 minutes that is from 210 to 425 the minute hand would have covered 810 that is 810 degree so option B is the right answer Yes, option B is the right answer. Understood, right? Now let us see the next example. Find the angular distance covered by a minute hand, covered by minute hand from 3.37 pm to 4.53 pm. Three thirty-seven to four fifty-three, which is equal to 1 hour plus 16 minutes so 60 minutes plus 16 that is 76 minutes so 76 into 6 degree is equal to 456 degree 
So option C, 456 degrees is the right answer. So this is how we have to find angular distance covered by the minute hand when they give certain time limit. Right? Now we will see the previous year questions. Question number one. Assume that the hour and minute hands of a clock move without jerking. The clock shows a time between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. The two hands of the clock are one above the other. That is, they both coincide each other. Right? So after how many minutes? near nearest integer so after how many minutes will the two hands be again lying one above the other if between 8 to 9 o'clock the two hands are one above the other then between 9 to 10 that is 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock the hour hand and the minute hand will again coincide each other. So we have to find that. So first let us find the time between 8 to 9 o'clock when they coincide each other. So the time is 8 o'clock so the time is 8 o'clock so initial so in the beginning we saw initial angle right that is between 8 to 9 the angle will be 30 degree here also 30 degree 30 and 30 so 120 degree the angle between minute hand and the hour hand when the time is 8 o'clock, the angle between them will be 120 degree. So the remaining angle will be 360 minus 120 degree. That is 360 minus 120 will be 240. So the remaining angle will be 240 degree so the minute hand consider that our hand is not moving right so minute hand will have to cover 240 degree to coincide with the our hand so according to the relative speed formula so according to relative speed minute hand will move 11 by 2 degree per minute right so using the speed time and distance formula time is equal to distance by speed distance equal to 240 by 11 by 2 so this 2 will go here 240 into 2 by 11 is equal to 480 by 11 so dividing 480 by 11 
so 43.6 minutes so we can take this approximately 44 minutes so therefore for the first time between 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock it will coincide at 8.44 yeah at 8.44 right so 8 plus 44 is equal to 8.44 8 hours 44 minutes now we have to find at what time between 9 to 10 the hour hand and the minute hand they are coinciding each other again so we are going to find 9 to 10 o'clock So when the time is 9, the angle between minute hand and the hour hand will be 90 degree. Here 30, 30 and 30. So when the time is 9, the angle between minute hand and the hour hand will be 90 degree. So the remaining angle is equal to 360 minus 90 which is equal to 270 degree so using the same formula time is equal to distance by speed so distance equal to 270 degree two seventy divided by 11 by 2 so 2 into 270 that is 540 divided by 11 So it will continue like this, right? 49.09 minutes. So between 9 to 10 o'clock, the hour hand and the minute hand will coincide at 9 hours 49 minutes and 9 seconds so now we need to find after how many minutes that is after 8.44 and 9.49 so we need to find the minutes in between them 8.44 949 is equal to 1 hour 5 minutes that is 60 plus 5 65 minutes so for the first time it will coincide at 844 and the second time it will coincide at 949 so after coinciding for the first time at 844 after 65 minutes that is 949 it will coincide again so the answer is yeah 65 minutes 
क्वेश्चन टू अ बिल रिंग्स एवरी एटीन मिनट्स अ सेकेंड बिल रिंग्स एवरी ट्वेंटी फोर मिनट्स अ थर्ड बिल रिंग्स एवरी थर्टी टू मिनट्स इफ ऑल द थ्री बिल्स रिंग एट द सेम टाइम एट एट ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग एट वॉट अदर टाइम विल दे ऑल रिंग टूगेदर so the first bell so bell 1 rings every 18 minutes bell 2 rings every 24 minutes bell 3 rings every 32 minutes so we need to find at what other time they will ring that is this three bell rings together after 8 o'clock so we need to find one common time after 8 o'clock when they when bell 1 bell 2 and bell 3 rings together so we need to find one common time which means we need to find lcm so take lcm 18 to 24 32 9 to 18 12 to 24 16 to 32 9 6 roza 12 8 roza 16 9 3 roza 6 4 roza 8 3 3 9 1 2 2 roza 4 4 roza 8 8 roza 16 Sixteen three sir. Forty-eight. Forty-eight three sir. One forty-four. One forty-four into two. That is two eighty-eight. So after. To eighty-eight minutes, these three bells will ring together. So we need to find the time. To eighty-eight minutes, so we can write it as two forty minutes plus forty-eight minutes, right? So that is two forty. Two forty means four hours. Forty-eight minutes after eight o'clock. So after eight o'clock, then you need to add eight, which gives twelve forty-eight. So at twelve forty-eight, these three bells will ring together. So option B. as option b is the right answer question 3 between 6 pm and 7 pm the minute hand of a clock will be ahead of the hour hand by 3 minutes at so we need to find
so the time is 6 o'clock the angle between them is 180 degree right so the minute hand will have to move 180 degree to coincide with the hour hand so using the relative speed formula relative speed we saw that speed of the minute hand of the minute hand with respect to hour hand is equal to 11 by 2 degree per minute right so consider the hour hand is not moving right so consider the hour hand is not moving then the minute hand will have to move 180 degree to coincide with the hour hand right so time is equal to so time taken will be time is equal to distance by speed so distance equal to 180 degree by speed is equal to 11 by 2 so 18 to 360 by 11 So, 32.7 minutes. So, approximately 33 minutes. Right? So, after 33 minutes, minute hand and the hour hand will coincide. And we need to find ahead of 3 minutes. When the minute hand when the minute hand of the clock will be ahead of the hour hand by 3 minutes. So we need to find when the minute hand of a clock will be ahead of the hour hand by 3 minutes. So we just need to add 3 minutes. That is 33 plus 3 is equal to 36 minutes. So between 6 to 7. So in the question they have given 6 to 7, right? So at 7, oh sorry, at, at 6.36 p.m. The minute hand will be ahead of the hour hand by 3 minutes. So option C is the right answer. Yeah, option C is the right answer. Understood? So let us see the next example. Question 4. A clock strikes once at 1 o'clock, twice at 2 o'clock, and thrice at 3 o'clock, and so on. If it takes 12 seconds to strike 5 o'clock, then what is the time taken by it to strike at 10 o'clock? So using two methods, we can find the answer. See, for 5, five o'clock, it is taking... 12 seconds so 5 o'clock it is taking 12 seconds so we need to find for 10 o'clock so you can easily multiply and get the answer in method 2 The time taken for one strike is equal to 12 by 5. Using this, we can find out for one strike how much time it is taking, right? So 12 by 2, sorry, 12 by 5 seconds. Similarly, for 10 strike at 10 o'clock 
is equal to 12 by 5 into 10 is equal to 24 seconds so in the both method we got the same answer right so you can use method 1 or method 2 to find answer for these type of questions so option b is the right answer yes option b is the right answer right question 5 a wall clock moves 10 minutes fast in every 24 hours the clock was set right to show the correct time at 8 am on monday when the clock shows the time 6 pm on wednesday what is the correct time so this is a faulty clock so it moves 10 minutes fast in every 24 hours so the clock was set right at 8 am so 8 am monday it is showing the actual time because it was set right so at 6 pm wednesday it will show some time right 6 pm as 6 pm and we need to find the actual time so from 8 am monday to 8 am tuesday that is 24 hours ATM Tuesday to ATM Wednesday another 24 hours ATM Wednesday to 6 p.m. Wednesday is equal to 10 hours right so totally 58 hours so for every 24 hours it will move 10 minutes faster then in 58 hours Twelve to the twenty-four, six to the twelve, five to the ten. So which is equal to twenty-nine to five, one forty-five divided by six. Twenty four one. We can add zero one six 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 four. So twenty four point one minutes approximately it will come twenty four minutes. So in fifty eight hours. The clock will be 24 minutes ahead of the actual time so now we need to find the correct time so correct time when the clock shows 6 pm wednesday is equal to 6 pm minus 24 minutes which is equal to 5 36 pm so the actual time will be 5 36 pm and the clock will be showing 6 pm on wednesday so option a is the right answer yes option a is the right answer the actual time will be 5 36 pm and the clock will be showing 6 pm on wednesday so this is the faulty clock right so for every 24 hours it will move 10 minutes faster in 58 hours it will be 24 minutes faster so the actual time will be 5 36 pm 
Question 6. At which one of the following times do the hour hand and the minute hand of the clock make an angle of 180 degree with each other? So when the time is 7 o'clock, clock will be like this. So when the time is at 7, 5, the minute hand will be like this, right? So just by drawing the diagram, you will get the answer. So when the time is at 7.5, the minute hand and the hour hand will be 180 degree, right? No, it's wrong. Why? Because our hand moves 1 by 2 degree for every minute, right? So when the time is at 7 o'clock, the hour hand will be sharply pointing towards 7. After that, for every minute, it will move like this here so it will be moving like this so at 7 hours it will not be at 180 degree so option A is wrong between 7 hours and 7.5 hours no why because at 7.5 the hour hand will not be here because it will move 1 by 2 degree for every minute between 7 hours and 7.5 hours is also wrong at 7.5 hours if you are not considering this you will tick this as the right answer right so you have to consider this so if you are considering this option C is also wrong so we are left with only one option option D between 7.5 hours and 7.10 hours so just by drawing the diagram, you can tell option D is the right answer. Yes, option D is the right answer. Question 7. Consider the following statements. Between 3.16 pm and 3.17 pm, both hour hand and minute hand coincide. Between 4.58 pm and 4.59 pm, both minute hand and second hand coincide. So let us take this as statement 1 and this as statement 2. We will use relative speed formula here. Relative speed of the minute hand with respect to our hand is equal to 6 degree per minute minus 1 by 2 degree per minute which is equal to 6 minus 1 by 2 13 sorry 12, 11 by 2 degree per minute So when the time is 3 o'clock, sorry, when the time is 3 o'clock, the angle between them will be 90 degree. So to find when the time is 3 o'clock, angle between minute hand and hour hand will be 90 degree 
So to find when both minute hand and hour hand will coincide, you will use. So to find when they coincide, the angle between them is 90 degree, right? So 90 degree divided by 11 by 2, 180 divided by 11. So 180 divided by 11 is equal to 3 hours 16 minutes and 3 seconds and 3 seconds right so the statement 1 between 3 16 pm and 3 17 pm both hour hand and minute hand will coincide yes so statement 1 is correct between 4 58 pm and 4 59 pm both minute hand and second hand will coincide we know that second hand travels entire clock in one minute right so it will coincide with the minute hand when it is between 4 58 pm and 4 59 pm so option 2 it is also correct so option c both 1 and 2 they are right Yes, option C, both 1 and 2 is right. Question 8. A man started from home at 14.30 hours and drove to village, arriving there when the village clock indicated 15.15 15 hours. After staying there for 25 minutes, he drove back by a different route of length 1.25 times the first route. At a rate, twice as fast reaching home at 16 hours as compared to the clock at home the village clock is so just by reading the question we can understand that village clock is a faulty clock right it will be either slow or fast so we need to find that so before that let us convert this 1430 is equal to 230 right after 12 it will become 13 14 15 16 right so 1430 is equal to 230 15 15 is equal to 315 and 16 is equal to 4 4 o'clock so ignore the village clock as it is faulty total time Total travel time by the man is equal to so he is starting at 230 and he is reaching home at 4 o'clock. So the total time will be 90 minutes. So he stayed in the village for 25 minutes. So we have to subtract that 90 minus 25 is equal to 65 minutes. So the total travel time will be 65 minutes. Now, using the speed, time and distance formula, total time is equal to distance by speed, right? So, total time is equal to T1 plus T2 
T2 that is from home to village and village to home T1 plus T2 is equal to distance 1 by speed 1 plus distance 2 by speed 2 so total time is equal to 65 is equal to 2d plus 1.25d 1.25 right the whole divided by you can tell 2s so 65 is equal to 3.25d by 2s so taking the ds here d by s is equal to 65 into 2 by 3.25 so d by s is equal to 65 into 2 that is 130 divided by 3.25 so 3 point 3.25 into 40 40 is equal to 130 so 130 divided by 3.25 is equal to 40 minutes so the man took 40 minutes 40 minutes to reach the village therefore the correct time should be two thirty two thirty plus forty which is equal to two hours 30 minutes plus 40 minutes is equal to 3 10 but the village clock showed 15 15 am i right so 3 10 is which is so 3 10 is equal to 15 10 but the village clock showed 15 15 so we can tell that village clock is therefore village clock is 5 minutes fast faster than the clock at home therefore village clock is five minutes faster than the clock at his home so five minutes faster option d yeah option d is the right answer the last question question number nine there are three traffic signals each signal changes color from green to red and then from red to green the first signal takes 25 seconds the second the second signal takes 39 seconds and the third signal takes 60 seconds to change the color from green to red the durations for green to red colors are same at 2 pm they together turn green at which time they will change to green next simultaneously
so by reading the question we understood that there are three traffic signals each changes from green to red and red to green traffic signal 1 it takes 25 seconds traffic signal 2 takes 39 seconds and traffic signal 3 takes 60 seconds so at 2 pm they turned green together and we have to find when they will change to green next time simultaneously so we need to find one common time so one common time means we have to find lcm so take lcm 25 39 60 5 5 is a 25 39 12 is 60 sorry 3 5 13 4 2 5 13 2 5 3 is a 15 15 twos are 30 35 is a 150 so 150 13 1950 to 2 is equal to 3900 seconds so 3900 seconds converting them into minutes 3900 divided by 60 is equal to 65 minutes so we can tell 65 minutes as 1 hour 5 minutes right so after 1 hour 5 minutes they will change from green to red together so they will change from green to red together because the durations for green to red colors are same so after 1.5 hours they will change from green to red and again after 1 hour and 5 minutes they will change from red to green so they are asking so at which time they will change to green next simultaneously 2 o'clock they are taking 1 hour 5 minutes plus 1 hour 5 minutes is equal to 2 hours 10 minutes so we have to add 2 2 o'clock which is equal to 4 hours 10 minutes so at 4 o'clock 10 minutes they will change from red to green next time simultaneously so option B option B is the right answer yes option B is the right answer so with this we are completing clocks so so far we have completed comprehension speed time and distance calendars direction and distance and blood relations so we have completed six lessons you will get the practice worksheet in the evening in our telegram channel at labasana dreams official you can comment your doubts and suggestions 
or you can send your suggestions to our Instagram channel at Labasna Dreams. So that's all for today's video. I will see you in our next class.